That's right, chat room, up, up, up. Welcome to the Bitcoin Show. Today is Friday, July 8th, 2 p.m. Eastern, and uh, this is episode 20 of the Bitcoin Show. Uh, today we have a, uh, a great, another great Bitcoin world-shattering news announcement. Um, my guests today are uh, launching a brand new venture that we're going to hear all about. Um, but first... We want to thank the people who bring us to you every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, globally. Uh, I realize that that's like uh, 3 a.m. in Australia, and we're watching you guys too. But um, obviously, we're available on demand, so you can go to OnlyOneTV.com anytime and watch us. But um, we do this every day in New York Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time is the schedule, and weekly in Spanish language, El Show de Bitcoin, weekly um, on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. But the people who bring us to you are U.S. Gold Coins. Today's episode is brought to you by usgoldcoins.com, and they can be reached at 1-800-HOT-COIN in the U.S. The U.S. Gold Coins is uh, Andy Gauss. He's the host of The Real World of Money, which is going to be here on Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m. He's a brilliant monetary historian, uh, genius when it comes to mo money. He is my, my mentor and guru, my go-to person when it comes to money and the broader picture of things. U.S. Gold Coins helps you invest in rare, which is known as numismatic, rare U.S. gold and silver coins. So it's U.S. Gold Coins absolutely can vouch for them. They're super knowledgeable and honest and trustworthy. 1-800-HOT-COIN. And Mezzi Grill, the famous Mezzi Grill, one and only. First restaurant in the world, I think, still to accept Bitcoin at, uh, at a brick and mortar shop. Mezzi Grill, right uh, three blocks south or well, some number of blocks south of Columbus Circle right here in Manhattan. If you're in New York or you're traveling through New York, you got to go check out um, authentic Mediterranean food at Mezzi Grill. It's very affordable, delicious, and healthy, and they accept Bitcoin. You just have to see that. And Carpe Viam. Carpe Viam, C-A-R-P-E-V-M.com. They do video marketing. So when you have a website, you have a product or a service that you're selling, they'll help you create a very professional video that for your website to sell your product and service at, at and, and just super, super professional guys. And TradeHill.com, of course, the place to buy your uh, uh, Bitcoins online in the comfort of your own home. TradeHill is the new exchange site that's automated, slick, many, many ways to get your currency in and out. TradeHill.com, get 10% off all of your fees for life with the referral code for the, the Bitcoin show, which is th dash R141. Remember, TH, like Trade Hill, dash R, as in referral, 141 for 10% off the fees for life. And our newest sponsor is Mt. Gox. Of course, everybody knows Mt. Gox, the uh, tried and true long-standing exchange site that's had troubled difficulties lately, but they are proving that they're in for the long haul. Um, they're back and better than ever. Mt. Gox, mtgox.com. We thank them all for bringing us to you. So today... Our guests are Dan McDonnelly and Jonathan Stack, who are launching today and announcing here as a world exclusive, BitcoinWorldMarket.com. So welcome, Dan and Jonathan. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having us, Bruce. Where are you guys? Uh, where are you guys? We're calling you from, or where are you? We are calling you to. Well, we, we're both uh, located in, in San Francisco. It's where our business is registered and licensed and all of that. And uh, But uh, I'm calling you from Boston, and uh, Jonathan's come, calling uh, back from his home in San Francisco. Boston and San Francisco. Okay, cool. So you're all American guys. Yep, we are. We're, we're, we're all American, and we're, uh, we're looking to, uh, to create a, you know, a world market, but uh, have, have a place that's actually, in, you know, a lot of the, the businesses out there are, um, are using their anonymity with Bitcoin to their advantage, which is good, and we we love that feature. But we also think that there needs uh, there's a strong market for a legitimate business that you can trust and you can see. We, you know, we're licensed in California. We've got a reseller's permit and all of the uh, the proper legal. Uh, paperwork, and we're going to be doing paying our taxes from the Bitcoin, and and paying employees and everything else, uh, um, 
in a way that really creates a good good economic value in both uh, U.S. dollars and Bitcoin. Right. So you're um, you're above board and out there. Your name is out there, just uh, just like me, <laughs> right out there. Yep. And now, am, am I right in in saying that um, BitcoinWorldMarket.com is launching today? You're announcing it for the first time here now, and it is the largest online Bitcoin merchant to date. It is. We in have over ten thousand products of uh, from organic food to RC helicopters to um, shirt hemp T-shirts, and uh, we've got you know spy gadgets and just so many more things. And like you know, literally, once we get off the phone today, I'll be working on uploading another two thousand products to our cart, and uh, we're we're just growing you know monumentally or really really quickly with all the products that we're adding. And and the the cool part of it that we're really looking forward to is, is that we want to be uh, we want to help lower the barrier of entry for both consumers and merchants to enter the uh, the Bitcoin economy. Um, we're actually anyone who has a unique product or product line, we'd love to have them contact us, and we we'd love to uh, to you know retail their products on our site. And in a way, we can we can accept U.S. dollars or Bitcoin, and we can pay our merchants in Bitcoin or U.S. dollars. So. So as a customer, you can you have the flexibility of doing either, and we're we're going to be coming up with lots of great incentives to um, encourage Bitcoin sales. Mm -hmm. But as well, if you don't have Bitcoin yet, you can still buy that, and it will actually be paid to the merchant in Bitcoin, which is exciting. At their option. Okay. So th so just to be clear, it is an online only shop, right? Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. And you don't show up in our, our homes looking to uh, to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. We've got to make that clear. And especially since your name and picture is out there, now they're gonna they really will be uh, grabbing you on the street to buy a helicopter with Bitcoin. But so the, the other thing is that you're you you accept dollars, U.S. dollars, and Bitcoin, either one. Correct. Yep. Okay. Now I know I went to the site, and it might be you know it was early early version. I'm sure it's it's your uh, you guys have been very busy with the final touches. But the prices that I saw were actually quoted in U.S. dollars. Is there a uh, does it give you the denomination in both dollars and Bitcoin, or do you have to get to the checkout to see that, or how does that work? Nope. There's just a little drop down box in the upper right hand of our website that allows you to uh, switch to Bitcoin, and all of our mm. prices are to the minute updated to market value. So, okay. Uh, all right. I missed that because I was probably merchants, doing it from my phone. You know, that are just putting in manually. You know, all of our prices will instantly change. You know, and be correct based on the U.S. dollar value in Bitcoin. So it means that if Bitcoin goes up, you're getting a better deal. If Bitcoin, you know, goes down, then you can liquidate the uh, the Bitcoin you have and be able to actually get real real products. However, you want to do it. But the value, but the conversion rate is done in real time. And and where you where do you get that data? Uh, I believe right now, uh, Jonathan. Do you want to answer that? Yeah, sure. So uh, we actually are the Trade Hill API. I'm sorry, you said Trade Hill API. Is that where you're getting it? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, t I told Jonathan to, that he's gonna his audio is not the greatest for some reason, so I had I told him he has to lean into the mic and get show us his dental work. But you have beautiful teeth, so you're good. <laughs> <laughs> So you're getting it from Trade Hill right now, and that's understandable with the Mt. Gox uh, crisis and so on. Is that are you later going to somehow um, figure out a way to to uh, get the data from both and kind of aggregate it as uh, as both sites really come back up to speed and in case there's a drastic difference between the two? We actually have it written so that we can instantly change um, what API we get from, so that even if a you know if one exchange goes down, we can be within minutes. We'll be back up uh, with correct prices on another exchange. Oh, that's um, cool. It, so it's all just done automatically. <laughs> and is the um, let's see, is there any overhead in the in the in the uh, exchange rate that you're giving, or is it just ex you know exactly what it is? It's just exactly what we're not paying any, you know, we're not charging anybody extra fees over the exchange rate, um, mm -hmm. you know, to use Bitcoin. In fact, we want to f encourage and find, you know, other ways, and we're definitely open to more feedback or ways to encourage more sales in, in Bitcoin. But, mm -hmm. you know, we do want to also offer U.S. dollars for people to enter the market and be able to, uh, you know, if you see something cool but you haven't gotten your Bitcoins, you're welcome to do... Uh, Pay in U.S. dollars, mm -hmm. and it still supports the Bitcoin market because then it goes that you those U.S. dollars we transfer into Bitcoin and then pay the merchant. 
And so the merchant has a choice to be paid in dollars or Bitcoin, is that right? That is correct. So a merchant could just be any merchant selling their, their, the stuff they already sell in, in, for U.S. dollars, but now because they're a part of Bitcoin world market, they're now able to accept Bitcoin. So that's the revolutionary part of what we, we built is we want we know that uh, merchant adoption of Bitcoin is going to take a little bit of time and we mm -hmm. want every merchant to, to have Bitcoin and have their own store and all of that mm -hmm. um, and but we want to be able to offer all sorts of different things on our site that people can buy in Bitcoin and then we can pay in the merchant in whichever way they prefer and just by being on our site and, and creating sales they are um, they're contributing to the Bitcoin economy, whether they're using Bitcoin or U.S. dollars, because that that helps everybody involved by creating more transactions, both both uh, in in Bitcoin and U.S. dollars, because those will will affect the Bitcoin uh, market. Because we're mm -hmm. going to be using those, uh, you know, paying as much as we can in Bitcoin for all of our merchants who want it, and for those who don't, people can pay in Bitcoin, and then we can char give the uh, merchant U.S. dollars until they feel comfortable of uh, accepting Bitcoin from us or putting Bitcoin on them their uh, mm -hmm. Their site themselves. Okay, so to understand again the basics of uh, BitcoinWorldMarket.com is that it, it's a uh, it's it's one site, but it's a kind of a consortium yep. of merchants. So the yep. uh, is it kind of like uh, eBay stores or Yahoo stores or something like that? Do they have their own store or just different merchants have certain numbers of items? Do you see what merchant you're buying from? How it's more like Amazon. Um, we you know we really will probably be uh, you know compared to Amazon a little as we get going on is, is that Amazon is not only a big store themselves um, mm -hmm. but they also accept merchants to sell their items on bit on uh, on Amazon and so you know when you go on Amazon sometimes you'll find that you'll order three products and they'll say oh well this ships from somewhere else mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing with us, is that you can go on to our site and you can order different products and it's going to ship directly from that, that merchant. Um, so they can still be involved and they, they take care of that. So we collect all of the merchants and list all of the great, the great products that they sell mm -hmm. and, uh, in, in one place so that you can buy anything with Bitcoin that we offer. So it's kind of a hybrid of, it's not just one big store, but it's, it, it's one big marketplace. And when I see the items, I don't actually see the name of the merchant until I get to the shipping part or whatever, and it tells me it ships from another place. Is that right? Yeah, and basically we take all of that stuff out of, you know, the concern out of it. Okay. We are, uh, we accept the payment, we, we take care of all the merchant stuff and, we, and the returns and anything like that. You, you deal with us and the trust that you built is with us. And if for some reason someone does get a product that they don't like or, or you know, has a problem, they contact us and then we do all the legwork of figuring out you know, where it oh, came wow. from and tracking it down and making sure. So um, it just instead of like for an eBay store, mm -hmm. which you know, we're, we're, you know, there are a couple other, other uh, sites out there that are kind of doing a similar thing as eBay. The, the problem is you're dealing with the actual, um, sometimes individuals who don't have a business license, who are just selling something and who are, may or may not be reputable. And your risk is actually based on dealing with that merchant, but you're yeah. dealing through an intermediary. Right. And the only risk that you have is is dealing with with us. We take on um, you know working out all the the logistics and all of that, and and we're looking to to sell really quality products, really unique products that support small business, and uh, and and we help the consumers get that directly through us. So you're taking on a much bigger project than I initially thought because. If you're actually, um, even if you're not doing the shipping directly, if you're handling yep. returns and you're handling all the customer interactions so that if there's a problem, you guys are backing it up. I don't have to worry about who the merchant really is. Just like if I go exactly. to uh, Bloomingdale's, I don't really worry about the supplier. I, yep. I, my relationship is with Bloomingdale's. If you're backing up this whole transaction and return and everything, then I really only have to trust you guys. Exactly. And see, that's the thing about Bitcoin is everything is built on trust. The value of it and the way, because it's a non-reversible um, transaction, it takes away that, you know, that inherent, the credit card fraud problem where basically, you know, you, you have to trust the credit card because it's inherently flawed. People can steal it easily. So they have to offer all that fraud protection. But unfortunately, they really screw over merchants because if fraud does happen, the merchant loses their product, they lose the money, they lose everything. Where, you know, with Bitcoin, 
then you don't have that that same protection. So what the trust comes in is, is that you have to trust the merchant. And right. we believe that merchants overall, if they're a good merchant, are and are willing to put themselves out there and create trust and stand behind their stuff. And that's what we want to do. Is, is We want you to trust us because that's the way this works. If you have a problem, we can refund you in Bitcoin. It's not like we're going to hold things hostage just because the transaction inherently isn't reversible. Just like any good merchant. You go to Nordstrom's, you can return something. You go to any good brick and mortar store, you know they'll be there tomorrow and you, you can, if you have a problem, you have someone to talk to. And that's what, what we're providing as a service in the marketplace that we're Right. Creating. So you're more like a department store than like a, um, yeah. a, a conglomeration of independent stores. So that's, exactly. that's really good. You're, you're, it's a, like I said, that's a lot of responsibility and, um, and you know, bravo for that. The, um, the chat room is saying, you know, I trust these guys, thumbs up. Uh, someone says, uh, ask them why they feel so secure showing their faces. Aren't they worried about the government getting them? <laughs> 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 Any thoughts well, on that comment? Because we're licensed with the government. I mean, I sat down in San Francisco City Hall, got my business license, got my seller reseller's permit. All of our vendors require us to have a permit on hand that, that allows us to take California tax. If you are in California, unfortunately, you have to pay tax. Um, and we're going to charge tax, even mm -hmm. on Bitcoin sales. Uh, we're not trying to avoid the government. We're mm -hmm. not trying to do anything. People are going to, to you know, trust us because we are doing the right thing and we're trying to do all of the, the stuff that makes us a legal entity in mm -hmm. the United States and in the world mm -hmm. as a business. Okay. And and we're, we want to do everything to create the legitimacy of Bitcoin. Right now there are no laws that say Bitcoin is legal or illegal or everything. We're right. just providing a, a service and a way for you to pay and they don't care how we get our money as long as that we pay our taxes on it, honestly. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that's why have you consulted with um you know, legal counsel and, and tax people, and, and how do you how do you charge tax on Bitcoin? You just just as if it were dollars or any other currency, and you just yep. charge that percentage and add it on. We just charge. Uh, we assume that Bitcoin is the same as uh, same as dollars. You you know, California tax rates are a little complicated, but in general, it's nine point seven five percent sales tax, and mm -hmm. we charge nine point seven five percent of a Bitcoin, and then we then transfer that Bitcoin. And we have to pay our taxes in dollars, of course. Mm -hmm. Government won't let us pay taxes in Bitcoin yet, but then we transfer that Bitcoin to dollars, and uh, and then we save it for the government, and we send it away. So it goes on, basically the government gets paid at the current rate as well. Well, they get, they get paid as if the person spent U.S. dollars. US dollars so right. the, moment, the equivalent. You know, if mm -hmm. someone has to pay tax on something, we're going to convert pretty much instantly the, whatever their portion of, uh, of tax into U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. and, then, uh, and then, so it would be Set the same aside. as if the person paid in U.S. dollars. Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, because a lot of business owners have that question. They're very confused. Like, well, how do I pay that? I mean, the government's not going to allow me to pay tax in Bitcoin, and not anytime soon. So, um, yeah, this is a simple thing. As, as, as if the merchant, so for example, if a merchant wants to get paid in dollars, you're going to convert it to dollars instantly, and then that'll be dollars on their account. The same thing with the government. The government wants to get paid in dollars. You're just going to convert that portion into dollars and set it aside for the government for the sales tax, right? Exactly. I mean, I, I don't, Bitcoin is at the moment not an independent island where we can do everything in one day. It, it relies on its trans, you know, its currency transactions and its exchange. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, you know, we're very realistic about that. Is is that we want, you know, we want to encourage as many Bitcoin sales as possible and we want to encourage it to sell, you know, have as many merchants take Bitcoin as possible. That's what right. we're looking to do is lower that barrier of entry. But until then, we're, we're very realistic that people are going to need to use US dollars and and we're going to help convert that and the nice thing about um, the the market is, is people don't need to worry you know bitcoinworldmarket.com they don't have to worry about um, what the market is doing with their bitcoin mm -hmm. um, if people you know the prices are set right there so if the if for some reason tomorrow the bitcoin went down to a dollar all the merchants would still get paid the correct amount of bitcoin per dollar Mm -hmm. um, and if it if it went up, they would get the same same kind of thing. So we we tie very closely into that exchange rate to protect our merchants. To protect, you know, we're just kind of exiting the whole volatility. We're not holding Bitcoin and trying to be a speculative investment. And that's the thing that I think is the most needed part of the entire Bitcoin economy. Is is we have to move. It's it's a good part of the economy, mm -hmm. but we need to also move to the 
economic exchange part where mm -hmm. people are paying and accepting Bitcoin for real goods and services and that is contributing to the economy of Bitcoin and that stabilizes and, and we hope to be a big part of that that trend and that process to stabilize Bitcoin and help promote economic exchange and create that that to the real legitimacy of Bitcoin in the market right cool they're saying that um, the chat room is saying that uh, uh, having sane and realistic people on isn't as funny as interviews with insane ideologues and these uh, Kyle says yeah these guys aren't even trying to rip us off so I guess this is kind of boring if you're looking for that <laughs> But uh, there's no drama here. This is just about uh, promoting Bitcoin up and up. So you're talking about the barrier of entry, um, how, how many, I mean, like, what does it take? What's the minimum for any merchant? Like, if I just sell one thing, you know, I just, I, I make uh, Bitcoin hats or something, can I, can I open up a store or can I just sell one item? Or what's the minimum requirement for a merchant to join? Well, for Bitcoin World Market, um, we just want unique, interesting quality products. And so if you have a unique, interesting, quality product, we want to offer your product on, on our site. Um, mm -hmm. And we do all the work of being able to do that. Basically, we'll, you just go onto our site, click the merchant link, um, you know, email us with the information that you have, and uh, we will put it up on, on our site and be able to offer your products and services uh, mm -hmm. there. We do, you know, we do, we're a little bit like Apple where we do have uh, some administrative um, support or administrative uh, say over what products we, so you we curate. enter because we don't, you know, we don't want to, to have poor quality products. And right. there are, you know, there are a lot of products out there that we could be selling. Like right mm -hmm. now there are tons of these uh, Chinese wholesaling where free shipping all over the world um, places mm -hmm. that look really great but they sell unfortunately a lot of knockoffs and really cheap stuff and you don't get your product or you have problems with it and then you how do you return to China and it, right. so that's that's one of our important things is that we want to make sure that we are creating strong connections with good quality merchants wherever mm -hmm. they are in the world yeah. but that they they actually are, you know, creating a good product and yeah. something that we can stand behind ourselves as well. It's true. Well, Ed, my partner Ed is a, we call him Dr. Frugal, the host of the Frugal Show. He he's actually bought things online from, and it was shipped directly from China, but the whole thing was like a dollar twenty-five, including the shipping or something. I'm like, I can't even mail a letter to, you know, it's like crazy cheap. But I mean, I guess if if it's a good product, as long as it's a good good enough quality product for what you're getting. Um, you could almost eat the returns if they, you know, like just forget, you know, just uh, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like well, for a dollar twenty-five, there's not a. a I'm <laughs> sorry, you're just not going to get a quality product. It's going to work for a little bit. Uh, I forget what know, it was. There are, it was a, I'm not was to good. say that there aren't quality products coming out yeah, of China. Yeah, there are, yeah. but unfortunately, there's also a lot of knockoffs. I mean, oh, when you junk. go to buy a tablet and it looks like an iPad, but <laughs> say it's an Android tablet, right. you know, you yeah. get what you pay for. Looks like an Android. Um, so, all right, um, so basically, I mean, you're acting, again, like a department store, you're curating the collection of what you have. You're not going to have like 5,000 varieties of Bitcoin t-shirts. You're going to have the ones that are really cool and they're best sellers and good quality and so forth for the value, right? Exactly. And we also have a review, you know, just like Amazon, you can go review our products. And if we get consistent, you know, if there's some bad reviews on our products and we take a look at it and there's a problem, we drop mm -hmm. them from our store. We don't mm -hmm. want to sell bad products. Mm -hmm. So if a merchant has multiple products, would, would you see a case where you might drop one of their products but leave the rest and you just say there's a problem with this particular item? Possibly. We would contact the merchant and find out what the issue is and, and see where it, you know, what's going on and, mm -hmm. and make that decision uh, based on real, you know, we, maybe they'll, we'll, we'll buy a sample from them just to make sure that we actually have it in our hands and say, mm -hmm. hey, is this, you know, is this a quality product? Do we want this or not? Well, you guys are taking on a big project. I thought I was busy. Is it just the two of you? It is at the moment, yeah. Okay, so you're going to be working 40-hour days, it sounds like. <laughs> We've been working like 80-hour days. I mean, I was up till about 4 a.m. last night, and yeah. we both have other, you know, other careers as well, but, mm -hmm. you know, we're looking to really launch this as a, uh, you know, a major endeavor, and right. so... It, it, yeah. That's great. It's very. It's. I mean, bravo. I think that's fantastic. It's absolutely what's needed. The um, you know, very very exciting. And the the idea that um, any small merchant that they don't even have to mess with Bitcoin. They can just say, I I want to receive dollars or whatever. And yet they're they're able to uh, be in Bitcoin 
world market. Now, um, it is called BitcoinWorldMarket.com. Are you yep. uh, targeting a global audience, or do you, will you ship anywhere in the world? And how do, what about other currencies? Yep. At the moment, we are. You know, we've got U.S. shipping set up. We're still just trying to discover, figure out, but that should probably be. You know, within a week at most, we'll be uh, shipping all over the world, uh, depending on whether the the merchant themselves actually chooses to uh, to ship internationally. Mm -hmm. um, so we're still working out some of the bugs in our our, our site, and we know. You know, we're we're getting more and more of that information out there for the consumer. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we do plan to ship anywhere in the anywhere in the world um, and be able to let people also take merchants from anywhere right. in the world. Okay, yeah, I mean, we definitely have a, a global audience. Bitcoin is very much a global currency, and um, so if somebody, um, this is day one, of course, of the launch. If somebody goes to Bitcoin World. Uh, market.com right now and they're in Europe or Australia or somewhere what will happen are they going to have an option at all or is it item specific or there's just not an option for shipping there yet at the moment it's UPS ground US shipping uh, we will be turning on the uh, the the international shipping very soon but at the mm -hmm. moment uh, it's just US shipping okay and the currencies you're planning just to to keep it at US dollars and Bitcoin you're not going to expand the euros or other okay yeah, I mean that's the, there's the encouragement right there. If you have euros, yeah. you should put it into Bitcoin, then buy stuff on right. it. It's, it's a hell of a lot better than trying to to buy something in euros from our site and and uh, paying any of the transaction fees mm -hmm. that our banks are going to mm -hmm. charge us to do that. So mm -hmm. you know, Bitcoin is the world currency. There's no need to hold any other currency besides that's Bitcoin right. and U.S. dollars for us being a U.S. company. Amen and hallelujah. Right? Can I get a hallelujah yeah. from the chat room? So <laughs> we're evangelists. So um, absolutely. <clears throat> All right. Now, have you ever had any concerns about being considered an exchanger, like an exchange site? Because in effect, if you're accepting Bitcoin and then paying a merchant in dollars, is that the, sort of the same function as an exchange site? Does that have, I mean, any concern there? That we've actually specifically talked between me and Jonathan about like you know well what if we offered people to buy Bitcoin on our site and things like that and we've decided to stay away from most of that. Um, mm -hmm. It may be something we do in the future, but you know we're staying as far away from being an exchanger as possible. The fact mm -hmm. is is that someone is choosing to pay us and we pay our vendor. We're not you know. We're not, not exchanging acting it, as yeah. an exchanger in any way because the mm -hmm. vendor is asking to be paid for something and, and people are buying something, but right. no one's asking us to take their money and turn it into something else. Okay, so you're not, you're not acting as, a, as an exchanger because you're selling the, the retail transaction between you and the customer is in Bitcoin yep. or dollars, but then your uh, wholesale transaction is separate. It's a completely right. separate transaction. It can be in any currency. So you're not actually you're not exchanging, okay? Now what about the the fees? Is it um, you know uh, some of these stores like Apple's notoriously taking thirty percent off of everything? What what kind of uh, fees are involved for the merchant who wants to sell their products through Bitcoin World Market? How does how is that structured? Well, we actually we independently negotiate uh, the fees between the merchants. There are and and that's going to vary depending on um, what what the merchant offers, whether it's a digital product or whether it's a, an in-person product, what their fees. And so that becomes negotiated with the, the individual merchants. Um, mm -hmm. So that, that's really between whatever the merchant needs, then we decide whether that, that profit or that, um, that markup is going to be uh, mm -hmm. acceptable to us and to acceptable mm -hmm. to the merchant. Okay, so it's a case by case basis. And then would Absolutely. there be, can you see a case where you might accept some of their items but not all of them? Absolutely. I mean, we've already chosen. This. I mean, it, washer and dryers are probably not something we want to ship around the world just for for that reason. Washer and dryer, right? Exactly. Okay. And are there are there any uh, types of items that you're going to stay away from, like you know, adult materials or whatever? You know, we, we would love to, you know, offer a freedom of a lot of different things, and we reserve the right to, to open, you know, offer anything. But at the moment, you know, we're we're not off. Like one of our spy gadget companies uh, is, they offer stun guns, and it's not something that we want to choose to to offer. <laughs> um, so anything that that can cause anything illegal, anything that can cause someone significant harm, uh, mm -hmm. we don't want to be involved in those type right. of transactions at the moment. Yeah. Well, the thing with us too is, is we want to. I mean. Being a business person, being in, in economy, is creating a vote. Yeah. Our money is our votes, yeah. and, and it's such a powerful thing. 
because we want to vote with our money and, and support things that are ecologically, economically, sociopolitically um, forward thinking and, and positive. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're offering a lot of organic foods. We're offering a lot of sustainable products. Um, we're offering fun stuff like, you know, RC cars and things that are cool as, mm -hmm. as well. But we do want to promote good, um, eco conscious, politically yeah. conscious, uh, economically conscious um, products and services and merchants. That's great. I, I mean, it's great to hear in general the whole thing. And I think it's very wise choice to stay away from uh, things that are, that are at all like sketchy, like anything that could be used as a weapon and so on. Because, you know, you could have the fact of the matter is the way media and, and you know, ignorant politicians and, and crazy people are, is that you could have tens of thousands of items for sale and they're only going to hear the stun gun. It's the stun gun yep. for Bitcoin site. I mean, that's what they're going to hear, you know. <laughs> so it's exactly. really, you know, obviously there's Bitcoin for absolutely everything and the only thing they hear is something that's shady. So I think it's very good to, to just keep it clean, keep it absolutely free of anything that's, uh, you know, dangerous or, you know, you know, whatever item you think of, imagine it as the headline in the New York Times or somewhere, you know, yeah. because that's exactly what they would do, you know. Yeah. Bitcoin has had enough bad press. We, you exactly. Know, we wanted, we, Bitcoin is such a beautiful opportunity and such a wonderful statement um, of growth and change in our society and our culture, our politics, that we want to be the good news out there that say, mm -hmm. you know, instead of, oh, well, all these people are speculatively investing and gaining and losing millions in Bitcoin and, and there's still nothing to buy in Bitcoin. Oh, wait. There's BitcoinWorldMarket.com. Check mm -hmm. this out. You mm -hmm. can get a case of organic Santa Cruz juices delivered to your door, along with um, an herbal remedy to help you when you're co when you've got a uh, you're sick and cold, as well <laughs> as an RC car for your kids. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have babies' items. We we actually sell baby organic baby food on our site. That's how how you know oriented we're looking forward to saying to helping anybody in all different markets. That's amazing. And all different uh, demographics. Well, it's very very impressive, especially since you're just launching today. How long have you guys been working on this, and how have you found all these merchant relationships so fast? Well, we've been probably working on it for uh, about a month since I heard about Bitcoin. Um, a I was month. Like, did about you say a month? A month? Yep. You come. Yep. You've done all this in one month. Yeah. Well, the month was just the, the planning stage. We had to create a business a business plan, which we wrote out and and had people look at and all of the the, the legitimate ways of creating a business. And then we, you know, I've. I'm involved in a lot of different internet marketing, um, you know, organizations and creation. So I, I have a an understanding of how to create merchant relationships. And I've done I've done retail. I've been a manager of a store. I've owned an online business. I've done a lot of these things before. Wow. So okay. I've used a lot of my contacts to be able to reach out. Um, but the merchants are excited to work with us. They're really even if they're like, well, I don't know, if we want to do any of this Bitcoin thing, but mm -hmm. sounds cool. Let's support you. Let's get you know, we'd love to uh, to be a part of this. Well, this is really taking Bitcoin to the next level because, I mean, no offense to web designers, but, you know, kind of there's been like a first era of uh, pretty much anybody that's a web designer creating a little shop and all that and very hobbyist. And um, yep. you, got, you guys obviously have um, experience and, and you know what you're doing. You're professionals in, in that arena and you're, you're now taking that and combining it with, with Bitcoin. It, it's just shocking that you've been able to do this, and you must have had these relationships with these merchants already somehow, right? You didn't just like make all these my, relationships, my, ten thousand I items in a month. My secrets. I mean, after now we launch, everybody's going to copy us, so I'm not going to give you all my secrets of where I get my merchants. Mm, <laughs> I know the secret. It's Craigslist. Craig, Craig Newmark, right? You know, <laughs> you got all your items off Craigslist. Craigslist for Bitcoin.com. Okay. Well, there's some trade secrets that we just can't... Sp I don't know. I don't even know what they are, but it just blows my mind that you could have that many items that fast, but, um, but that's fantastic. I'm sure that as long as you can keep... You can deliver what you promise, um, you're going to have a, a super, you know, huge, thriving business. Um, there's so many... Uh, I can... You know, how many ca catalog businesses there are and so forth, everything from sharper image to modern day, everything's online. But I think that there's a real place for that. I think that also, I mean, just my opinion is that people have a, uh, they're kind of tired of these um, collections of stores 
where you don't really know who you're buying from. I, I don't like that, yeah. where you're, you know, it's just like Yahoo stores or eBay stores, and I'm buying from some, some stranger, and I don't really know who they are and their return policy, and then I have to deal with them if I have a problem. Um, I love the yeah. idea that you have centralized that for your, as, although centralization can be a, a dirty word. In this case, it's actually a great thing because I know who I'm doing business with. I'm doing business with you guys, even, uh, you know, even if I, uh, I don't know where it's originally coming from, you guys are, are uh, taking the responsibility to back up what you sell, and that's really, really important and a valuable, um, a valuable service to, to everyone. So Everything relies on trust. I mean, Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin is trust. The merchants we also know is built on trust. And that's mm -hmm. what, what we want to really develop and, uh, and create. And we want to hear feedback from people. You know, we know we're involved in the, uh, the, the forums. We're involved in the, you know, in the community. And we want to hear feedback, you know, and, and to email us. And we want to, we want to be part of that um, commun two-way communication between a buyer and a seller and, and a community member and a Bitcoin enthusiast and all of these different hats that we all wear. We mm -hmm. want to be involved in that that discussion and that that exciting exchange of information and now products, and goods, and services. Right now, Jimmy is kind of reading my mind in the chat room because I was just going to say, um, if I if I'm a merchant, <clears throat> I would price things. I'm assuming I would price things in dollars, and then that would be translated into Bitcoin um, on the fly because obviously the value of a dollar doesn't change as fast as the value of a Bitcoin. Is that right? Correct. Yes. Okay, and then the, the, it's, a, it's a, basically it's a lookup as to whether uh, what the value of a Bitcoin is. Um, well, Jimmy's asking specifically if I put a soda in my shopping cart for 1.31 Bitcoin, like I just did, can that price change before I check out? Um, it, it can a little bit, depending on the market. Um, you know that we hope that the market will stabilize. Um, you know, but usually the market, you know, between the the few minutes that you you buy. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the, you know, we, I think it's about a minute by minute, but you know, if you, if you order in there, your, your price when you go to check out is the price that you get. And so once you actually say commit, that's, that is the price of your, uh, of your product. I think it should be just, I don't know how it works, but I, I can imagine that, um, if I were doing that, I'd want to see like in the forum, the Bitcoin forum, when I go to post, it should, I go to post, it should say warning. There have been new posts since your last one, and are you sure you know you want to read those? I would I would like uh, the ability to say buy, and then say oh notice the price has changed since <laughs> the last update, and just okay to continue, just so that I didn't click buy on one bitcoin and boom now it's three bitcoin or something like that. I would think that would be a you know a considerate thing to do because otherwise I'm buying it at one price and then all of a sudden I'm charged another price. How, now when Absolutely. you do that. Well, I'm sorry. When you check out um, in Bitcoin, are you just given a Bitcoin address and told to send that amount to that address? Correct. And then uh, in our system, it verifies that that we've received it, um, and that that then then we send the then we send the order from that point. Mm -hmm. And what if like yeah, in that in a case like that, where in a weird situation, Bitcoin is like going up, 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 <laughs> as they like to call it. Um, if uh, if the price changed between the shopping cart. If I put it in my shopping cart in the morning and I don't come back to my computer and finish till the afternoon and the price is different, um, if I end up sending the wrong amount of Bitcoins for that transaction, then what happens? If, you know, if there was, uh, you know, the point is, is that once you purchase, that locks in whatever rate the market is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we would have a, a lot of people speculative, you know, one of our terms is that please don't use our site as a speculative investment. <laughs> you know, we're not looking for people to buy something, then return it for more Bitcoin than they paid for. <laughs> for so, oh, um, you know, there does, the market is the market. And unfortunately, we can't control that at mm -hmm. that. But the moment you purchase, you the one thing you can rest assured is, is that you have the most up to minute date of Bitcoin. Where that's the problem I've seen with some of the other merchants is they they post their prices in Bitcoin and then you come back a few days later and they're like, well, they're way overcharging. Well, it's because they they have to manually go in and do that. Um, so there there is a little bit of leeway that you have to give us if you know if you buy something for you know ten bitcoins and tomorrow the the Bitcoin value goes up a hundred bitcoins. Um, well, then unfortunately, you, you did buy something at what the, the Bitcoin market was, and we don't have control over that because we do have to, to get paid and, and create mm -hmm. that. We don't actually store a lot of the Bitcoin hoping to, to make a value ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. As soon as the Bitcoin comes in, we pay the merchant almost immediately mm -hmm. from that point. 
Mm. And that's the cool part about it is a merchant will literally get paid instead of in one big batch of, of payments. Mm -hmm. A merchant comes in, someone buys it, they'll have the money within the hour of what they just purchased. Right. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. If I, I mean, in the past, um, who knows what it's going to do in the coming months, but in the past months, it, um, you know, you've seen Bitcoin go from, you know, five dollars, eight dollars, ten, twenty, mm -hmm. and so on. If if um, you know, um, what's the return policy? If I if I literally buy something that is the uh, in, in in Bitcoin is the equivalent of ten dollars. And um, within 30 days, it's now worth $100 in Bitcoin terms. Um, do you just, like, if, if I return something, are you going to return it for the U.S. dollar value that it was at the time I bought it? Or are you going to, or the exact number of Bitcoin? Uh, no, it'll be the value at, the, at which you bought it. If you buy something for 17 U.S. dollars worth of Bitcoin, mm -hmm. you will get a, ref a refund if you needed it for the, you know, during our, you know, based on our refund policy, yeah. the uh, the equivalent back. You know, unfortunately, yeah. you can't return something and make money off of our returns. That would kind of put right. us out of business pretty quick. So as long as it's clearly designated that it's valued in the returns are valued in U.S. dollar equivalent at the time of purchase and the time of return. Is is that in your yep, return policy? Is it laid out like that? It's in our return policy. Good. It's in our terms and conditions. As soon as you click. On yeah. pay in Bitcoin, it talks about you know the the agreement of how you know what happens if there is a return, um, what happens, and that's all clearly yeah. put out. And you know, there's too many businesses out there right now who are not um, they're not putting out the terms and conditions. Yeah. We have everything on our site from about us, how to use Bitcoin, the frequently asked questions, um, terms of conditions for both a merchant for a, a a customer. All of that is spelled out on our Bitcoin, and we'll be constantly <laughs> updating that to make sure that it is um, valid and current. And, uh, mm. and as much transparency as possible, which is well, the, the key with every, every good merchant and their trust. Mm -hmm, that's understandable because um, obviously you'd get the 10,000 Bitcoin pizza guy trying to return the, <laughs> the pizza for 10,000 Bitcoins later. Uh, yep. Somebody saying, uh, damn, this isn't a Bitcoin-based store then. But, you know, obviously that's the, that's the one um, uh, issue that comes up whenever you're, try you're a merchant trying to sell things in Bitcoin. The value of Bitcoin, you know, the, originally the value of Bitcoin was so volatile, they said, that, you know, yep. merchants wouldn't know how to deal with it because the value could go up and the value could go down and all that. But now it's um, usually the, fa the idea is that Bitcoin is going up. Over time, it's, it's, you know, if you just look at the value once a month, it's pretty much up, 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 as we say. And so um, it's not a problem um, selling something for a currency as long as it keeps going up in value except returns. Returns is a really interesting thing. So, yeah, as long as that's clearly spelled out in the policy that uh, yep. it's based on the U.S. dollar value, return is based on the U.S. dollar value. So you'll still return Bitcoins. If they paid in Bitcoins, you'll still return it for Bitcoins, but it won't be the same number of Bitcoins. It'll be based on the dollar value at that time, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So I can't buy product. I can't buy a helicopter and hold on to it for 30 days and it'll go up in value like Bitcoin does. <laughs> well, you, you know, there's a big market for collectibles, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. Okay, so let's see. Um, how many, can you tell us how many merchants there are represented right now? Um, right now, it's, we are, we probably have, um, you know, we have a variety of different merchants who sell different things. Um, you know, right now, I believe we have over a dozen merchants uh, in, in process of working on getting their, either their products in or there. And we hope to expand that, you know, exponentially over mm -hmm. the, the coming weeks. That's the fun part is you're going to get to come to BitcoinWorldMarket.com, look around, see what's cool. You know, literally when I get off this call, I have a whole category of pet supplies and pet mm -hmm. products and cool things like that to <laughs> upload and, and work on. So, you know, you come back in a week and you'll see all sorts of new products and new things. You need some remote workers um, like we have in, um, uh, you know, Cairo and Uzbekistan that will um, help you do that data entry stuff because um, Absolutely. Can, well, we can, discovered Amazon's Mechanical Turk and that's been helping us out a little bit with oh, some that's, of that. It's a, a, that's a very cool, cool uh, outsourcing site. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You can just, uh, you can do it directly via Skype and Bitcoin. You can pay them in Bitcoin. I had a, actually I had a story. I don't know if I ever told this on the show before, but I had I have a couple remote assistants. Literally, um, one is in uh, Mansura, Egypt, north of Cairo, and another is in uh, uh, Namangan, Uzbekistan. And um, uh, Oybek in Uzbekistan, I 
paid him $100, and I was just going to Western Union it, which is kind of sad because they take about $20, you know, out yeah. of the $100 to send it to him. And um, one time he said, no, don't, don't pay me, I'm fine, just hold on to it for me. And I said, well, how about if I put it into Bitcoin for you? And he's like, okay, fine, whatever, you know, I trust you. So I did, and then, you know, like four or five months later, he sent me an email, and he, he said, I, can I borrow $50? And I said, well, have yep. you seen your Bitcoin balance lately? <laughs> he had something like $4,500 in there, which was like, Goodness. his mother is a pediatric physician working full time in the hospital. She makes $200 yep. a month. That, this is Uzbekistan, you know, that's how it is. And so he, in that, for that $100 that I had paid him, I just actually held on to it for him in Bitcoin, he ended up making uh, two years of his mother's salary. So he's very happy, needless to say. Anyway, I love telling that story. But, uh, <laughs> his Bitcoin investment did better than mine. I bought, I bought in at 28, so unfortunately, I'm still waiting for mine to come back up a little bit. 28 but, uh, cents or 28 dollars? <laughs> <laughs> I know people who you yeah. know, bought it at 23 cents, and I mean, you know, one of the first ladies that uh, heard me on one of the first radio interviews I did, I, she was chatting to me in the chat room yesterday, and she, she said, um, you know, she says, you realize, Bruce, that I bought my Bitcoins at 23 cents. I'm like, wow. 23 cents. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. And Good. I think it's going to continue. It's going to continue. To, we're, in the, we're Like I say, we're not on the ground floor of something. We're actually, like, in the basement, just a few steps up. This is, um, hasn't even launched yet, really. Bitcoin is and just... And that's what, what we we really want to be part of is, is the the move from being purely a speculative commodity investment to you know being a real a real thing that you can spend and and be able to buy cool stuff with and i mean literally you can you know you can buy yourself some clothing you can feed yourself from our site and you can play with uh you know toys and there's all sorts of fun stuff you can feed your dog and uh, keep him happy it's like pretty much everything you need you know and eventually as we get more products you can buy it all from a uh, bitcoin world market using your bitcoin you know, and if you bought it at twenty three cents, then you you know you're getting these products for uh, nickels on a dime at that right. point. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and are, are there services too, or only products? Uh, we we will be planning to open up services as well. At the moment, uh, the only service that I have is is uh, is. is you know, we've got a, a digital product on there right now, which we will we're going to be selling as well. Anybody who has digital products, we can do that. Mm -hmm. And eventually, we will be uh, be offering services as soon as people uh, contact us and say, "Hey, I'd like to uh, offer a service." We just ask that it's not. You know, we'll probably not do only local service. It'll have to be something that you can do on the internet or mm -hmm. um, a broad worldwide thing because we are a, a broad worldwide market. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Because they may need, in addition to pet food, they may need um, dog walkers and pet sitters and all that. But that's local, so it have to be something. That, <laughs> that they could sign up for uh, globally. Yeah. Well, I want to take a there's, a... there's a business idea niche right there. Is, is your, local, your local community being able to do that for Bitcoin. And I think someone should create that business too. Bitcoinlocalmarket.com. There you go. Register it quick. Get Absolutely. it out. <laughs> Bitcoinworld.com uh, Bitcoin is taken. But um, so let, this is a good time. I want to I want to once again uh, take one quick second and uh, thank our sponsors who who bring us to you every day, um, and they are our our great friend Andy Gauss at usgoldcoins.com. Um, they will help you diversify your investments so that you don't have it all in U.S. dollars, of course, and you probably don't want to have every your all of your life savings in any one investment. But um, usgoldcoins.com is his company which is at 1-800-HOT-COIN. And um, I absolutely vouch for his integrity, honesty, and, and unbelievable expertise. Andy Gauss at usgoldcoins.com. They sell rare, as uh, it's called numismatic, US gold and silver coins as investments. Um, excellent advisors. They'll help you uh, set up a, an, an investment plan. 1-800-HOT-COIN. And Mezzy Grill. Of course, mezzygrill.com, M-E-Z-E, grill.com. Check out their menu. Their food is unbelievably healthy and delicious and affordable. Right here in Midtown Manhattan, so if you're near the famous Columbus Circle, it's just a few blocks south of there. It's in our neighborhood where we live, and that's how we found them, actually. We were uh, regulars, eating there two, three times a week. Became friends with Marwan over there, and that's how he kind of fell into becoming... Um, the first brick-and-mortar restaurant to accept Bitcoin and all these this media exposure, he's like, 
sponsoring on the Bitcoin show is the best investment he ever made. At first, you know, honestly, we were a little bit concerned because being a local business, you're talking about local businesses advertising on a global show. And I, I was wondering if this is going to be a good enough return on investment. But boy, you know, ask him today. He's, <laughs> he's been on like every major worldwide news service interviews everywhere. It's the best uh, PR investment he's ever made. And Carpe Viam. C-A-R-P-E-V-M, carpevm.com. They do video marketing, web video marketing. So whatever your product or service is, if you want a real professional first class video produced, you're not great on camera or you're, you, know, you need help uh, looking really slick and professional and, and marketing your product or service, they'll help you from beginning to end, real pros, make a video that will sell what you're selling and, um, and, and you know, seize your market. CarpeVM.com and TradeHill.com, of course, the uh, new exchange on the block that has so many new features and options, ways to get money in and out fast, and um, literally you can just get money in there with a wire transfer, uh, buy your Bitcoins and withdraw them right away, um, no limits on anything, 10% off of all your trades for life, off the fees that is, with the referral code for the Bitcoin show, TH-R141, it's on your screen right there, 10% off your trades for life, TH-R141, and MountGox.com. Of course, MountGox, the, uh, the market share leader in uh, online exchange sites that has had difficulty, but they didn't pack it up and steal anybody's money. They, uh, no, uh, no Bitcoins, no dollars were lost, except for a little bit of their own. They are in it for the long haul, and they're back up and trading, and uh, people trust uh, Mt. Gox, mtgox.com. So we thank them so much for bringing us to you. And um, so what else, uh, Dan and Jonathan, what, what, what do you think the future holds? Is this going to become this Goliath of uh, uh, an eBay for Bitcoin? Well, I hope we do a little bit better than eBay. Every time I go to eBay, I end up getting scammed. So, <laughs> <laughs> What, doesn't PayPal protect you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What? I've had, you know, I think that's the thing about Bitcoin that's so exciting for merchants um, <laughs> is, is that, you know, like, I have another business and someone brought, bought a product of mine and they immediately, the moment they bought it, charged back on PayPal and that all of a sudden became a major problem. It's like, so I lose my product, I lose the, the money. As a merchant, we have to just eat that and so yeah. many merchants do. Yep. Um, and I think, you know, the, the real issue becomes like, well, um, how do we get consumers to realize all the exciting things about Bitcoin? Because I think as a merchant, it's really clear why you want to take Bitcoins. You just mm -hmm. talk about fraud and they go, oh, yeah, I've been paying so much for those stupid guys who scammed me out of my site. Mm -hmm. you know. But and I'd fees. really love to know. It's like ways we can encourage um, the average Joe to see the value in buying things with Bitcoin. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's fraud and there's fees and the chargebacks. Yep. Chargebacks are just, um, you know, a lot of the time the chargebacks are absolutely fraud against the merchant. It's basically legitimized shoplifting, and people yep. make a, a living doing that. They know they're going to get away with it so many times. They create a new PayPal account, and MasterCard, Visa, the credit cards are no, wor no better. You know, they can do a chargeback up to six months later on a credit card and for a huge amount of money and just claim they were never there. And, and you know, I had a business where that happened to me. I had a, a customer who had, and I had everything but his fingerprints. You know, I had his photocopy of his driver's license, a signed contract, yep. a signed credit card slip, and Done. everything physically swiped and all that stuff for a lot of money. And, um, but you know, hey, it was American Express Platinum, and American Express three months later said, no, we reversed the charges. And, um, and I said, but look, I have all this documentation. I can prove this in court, you know. And they're like, matter. no, we, we, uh, our policy is to side on the side of the cardholder no matter what. I'm like, what? So you just let them shoplift and walk out with all this money? And it's absolute theft. It's not right. I mean, the consumer doesn't realize what's happening because no. the merchant, any, but any consumer who ends up in their own business, boy, they find out real fast, don't they? <laughs> you get, you're getting scammed by the customer and it's absolutely not right. Obviously, with Bitcoin, it's, it's cash. It's very much cash-like, so it's just like a cash business, so it's great for the merchant. Now, the onus is on the consumer, buyer beware. Ever heard of that? So the buyers have to be 
uh, more aware of who they're doing business with. But isn't that the way it should be anyway? You should know who yeah. you're buying from, and it's it's should be. I mean, normally it's a lot easier for me to track you guys down than it is for you to track me down when you don't know who I am. Uh, you know, an anonymous customer, right? Exactly. I mean, if you're. I think that's the beautiful thing about Bitcoin, though, is, is that it also, in many ways, it takes the the problem of getting your credit cards shut down and or someone stealing that or getting your information, and it takes that all away. So you mm -hmm. are actually, I mean, if you wanted to buy something online, your only choice is credit card, whether that's through PayPal or or a merchant account, uh, paying someone and you know being their credit card. That's your only choice. Until Where now. now, Bitcoin allows to give people another choice. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. Well, we, I want to thank you. We're out of time. I want to thank you guys for what you're doing, and uh, bravo. You're doing a great thing for the Bitcoin world, and uh, if you have something to sell, um, contact BitcoinWorldMarket.com and uh, accept Bitcoins without any hassle. You don't have to know anything about Bitcoin. Just contact them. And of course, if you, you've got something to buy, so check out BitcoinWorldMarket.com, and uh, bravo to you guys. Thanks, uh, Dan and Jonathan, for joining us today, and uh, thank you, really Bruce. appreciate it. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. No, Monday. Today's Friday. Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern. All right. Take care. See ya.